how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so last time I said that the topic title for this time, according to my lovely camera, was best laid plans and then I wasn't sure if it was going to be a me talking about me stuff or a me talking about writing stuff or a little bit of both. Um, I'm still not entirely sure, so I'm just going to start talking and see what comes out. <laughs> it's always, always the best way of doing it, right? Um, so I'm the kind of person, just in general, that kind of likes to plan things, not necessarily in a great amount of detail, um, not necessarily stuff that I am 100% going to do, but I like to have an idea. I like to have an idea about where things are going. I like to have an idea about you know what I would like to happen and how I would like it to happen and, and stuff like that. So I'm in, in in my head at any rate. I'm one of those kinds of people that is constantly thinking about things and constantly planning things. Um, most of the time, most things never happen. Um, I mean, a good example of that. I'm the kind of person who will plan a million and one conversations that will never take place. Um, so that's just, you know, my way of thinking about things and, and, and my way of sort of doing things. Um, so when I finished university, um, my, my plans and my sort of vision for how things were going to sort of progress from there, um, was essentially get my first book published get myself uh, out there into to the literary world and start making a bit of a success and get my second book published and, uh, you know, hit it off and be able to live off my writing by the time I'm 25, by which point I'd also be in a stable relationship and have at least one child on the way. Um, I am coming up to 32 and None of those plans have really uh, gone the way I thought they would. Um, and obviously I have published, so that is, you know, that is a really good thing. Um, but I'm not a success by any rate at this point in time. Um, I have been in relationships over the last 10 uh, years, but obviously I'm single again at the moment. There are no pit pat or riddle feet anywhere, unless you count my adorable little gerbils. Uh, <laughs> they can be quite noisy when they want to be. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, yeah, my, my plans for this year are become a homeowner, and a part of that is because all of those, you know, big life planny things that I thought I would have achieved by this point. I've not really achieved very many of them and you know I need to sort of stop waiting and hoping for those things to just happen to me and that's just kind of go you know what let's try and find ways of making these things happen and so yeah my my sort of life planning um, at the moment has gone from, you know, these are all the things that I'd like to happen, but I've no idea how these things are going to happen to, to being much more grounded and much more realistic and in the, that, that space of almost 11 years <laughs> uh, since finishing university. Um, I think I've kind of learned that you can plan, you can plan and you can plan and you can plan and you can plan. And you can plan. But just because you've planned for something to happen doesn't mean it will happen because things just don't happen. They don't happen the way that you want them to. And even if you plan things out absolutely meticulously, they're not necessarily going to end up going the way that you want them to because life doesn't go the way that you want it to. Nine times out of ten. You've just got to kind of accept the situation that you're in and adapt and try to make it work the best way that you can make it work um, and that's that's very much what I'm trying to do at the moment um, 
planning to release another book this year and in the meantime I'm also trying to get more notice uh, for the books that I've currently got published especially for Hyena Boy because that's my most recent publication. Um, I'm as I've mentioned before trying to become a homeowner and that's you know a huge life step for me to take um, but it'll give me an added security and hopefully a little bit more financial freedom which I don't have at the moment and that will help you know, feed into to get my writing career off the ground and, you know, as for everything else, as for the relationship side of stuff and, you know, the family side of stuff, that they're, they're not completely off the table, but I need to sort of go, okay, let's do this a step at a time, let's figure out my life a step at a time and not have set goals for when things have to happen by because life will always get in the way. <laughs> um... So you've got to just find ways of making plans and doing things step by step, even though it takes longer, even though it can be really frustrating. <laughs> you know, the the more steps and the more, you know, the more you really think about what's going on and the more you adapt to the situation that's going on, the better, I think. And that is, I like, the biggest difference between... 21 year old me and currently 31 year old me um is that you know 21 year old me was a, a complete idealist um idealist and thought everything would be easy and 31 year old me is kind of like no life, life isn't easy life isn't straightforward you've got to learn to roll with the situation that you're in and make your plans around the situation that you're in and find ways of making the situation that you're in work for what you want and get to where you want to go despite the situation that you're in and maybe even because of the situation that you're in. Um, so yeah, I mean, best laid plans can sometimes never come into fruition, but that is as much to do with your own ability to get them off the ground as it is to do with all the other stuff that is sort of going on and that's very much been my kind of experience and I've learned from that experience and that, that's a good thing. You can learn from what you've been through and you can utilise it to hopefully make those plans still viable and still happen and that I think is, is such an important thing because I think so many people get just completely discouraged every time there's like a little road, roadblock in, in their path they just you know that's it they want to give up or they don't want to keep pushing forward and I've come up against so many roadblocks especially in the last few years to achieving all those things that 21 year old me thought she would very easily be able to achieve and I've kind of reached the point where it's kind of like you know those things have never actually stopped me from from doing anything and the major thing that's been stopping me from doing a lot of these things has been me and me waiting for certain, like, for the stars to align. And, you know, the stars are never going to just align. You have to just make do and work it out and figure it out and, you know, plan and actually plan and actually, <laughs> and actually motivate yourself to do these million and one things you know you should be doing if you want to be achieving the things that you want to achieve and you know okay yeah it's taken me a long time to start, sort of learn that but some of the some of the roadblocks roadblocks that I've kind of come up against in some of the situations that I've sort of been in over the last 10 years they they've made it feel you know a lot more difficult than maybe than maybe it is and maybe it was um and certainly some of the the sort of the relationship side of stuff and you know some of the things that I thought I would achieve because I was in a relationship like becoming homeowner um I've kind of realized now maybe waiting for those things because you're waiting on another person to be ready for those things when you're actually ready for them now it's not healthy for your own emotional health necessarily and that's not saying you know some people aren't worth waiting for I, I totally believe that if you're with the right person they're worth waiting 
for them to get to that point too, but you can't ignore the fact that you're already there and pretend like you're not already there because that just makes it feel like those things you want to achieve are so much less achievable. And that's not that's not fun because that just it's just another way of putting a barrier against you and, and, and what you're planning for your life and where you want your life to go. And as I said, the, the right person should always be worth waiting for, but not at the expense of, of yourself. Um, and I, I feel like a lot, of, a lot of the last 10 years, I've made decisions that have been at the expense of myself rather than at the benefit of myself. And now, I'm planning to do a lot of stuff that will be for the benefit of myself and hopefully by doing so I will be able to achieve all those things that 21 year old me planned to achieve. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay so I know this one has kind of been a bit of an odd one since I sort of launched in with not 100% certain idea of what I wanted to talk about. I mean, I felt like that stuff would kind of come up, but I didn't really sort of focus my thoughts quite as much as I planned to uh, beforehand. Um, anyway, that said, <laughs> uh, the next vlog um, will be talking about pen names. According to my lovely calendar, which just has pen names written for the next vlog. Um, I have mentioned before that I do have a pen name. Um, I don't know if I've gone into a huge amount of detail about it and, and why and, and stuff like that. So next time I will be covering my pen name and what it means to me and and yeah, hopefully that'll be hopefully that'll be interesting. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this sort of slightly rambly kind of vlog better than I think it is. <laughs> Sure, it's not terrible. <laughs> I hope you guys are looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.